So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this type of routes in Unreal Engine 5. So in this tutorial, uh, I will just explain you how to create this type of uh, road system in Unreal Engine 5. So the first thing that you have to keep in your mind before making this type of road, you have to set your landscape first, okay? So in order to make landscape, what you have to do, you have to just go there and you have to drag drop this thing landscape and then you have to go to manage and then you have to click on new and you will get something like this you can change the settings i'm not gonna go too much detail on these settings you can watch other tutorials in youtube there are so many tutorials you can watch of these things and it will be very helpful for you okay so you have to just create a landscape first and then what you have to do in the manage section you will get something called spline okay so in this tutorial i will show the spline system of the landscape to create road okay so what you have to do first that you have to click on your spline hold your control and then you have to do left click you will see you will get some point like this and then you have to click one uh, another time okay so you will get something like this okay and in order to expand this road what you have to do you have to click on the point from where you want to expand the road you have to press w to get this type of uh, logo uh, this was actually the navigation for xyz direction in android engine so uh, what you have to do now you have to hold alt and then you have to like move your cursor in a particular direction so you can make it like an upward direction also like this it totally depends on you how you want to make your road so for me i will just leave it like this you can experiment with yourself uh, how how you want to make your road so in this case you can see i make a little bit like up up direction so you can see it's continued as a bridge in this direction okay so this thing is done and then this one is the point number one you have to make sure you create this thing so i will recommend you to make first this thing like if you want to make something like uh, a road like a traffic or something like uh, anything like any kind of roadmap so i will recommend you to do this roadmap first like first draw this lines okay so it will be helpful for you to like think how your look how your i mean road looks like so i will recommend you to just expand this like that and you do it okay so i will just undo this thing for now you can expand this thing as much you want to so the second thing that you have to do is like you have to create assets okay so what will happen like if you click on this one so and make sure that you are in the landscape mode or it will be not clickable so you have to click on this one and you will see land deformation not land deformation like in the landscape spline mesh you will get a spline mesh system okay you have to add the spline and then in the index you will get uh, something like this mesh and you can attach any kind of mesh in this one okay so you can like make walls like fence or like road system like and you can make bridges whatever you want to make you can just put the asset in this one and it will be automatically spawn in the splines okay so there are a few settings that you have to keep in uh, keep in your mind i will just explain this thing later so you have to create your mesh okay first so you can see i just created some meshes in this area so what i did like i just use a um, so in order to make meshes what you have to do you have to just uh, go, get out from that landscape mode you have to go to the selection mode and then you have to create some meshes okay so you can see i created some meshes in this area so what how i made this thing so i just uh, download some pillars from quixel bridge i stretched it like this and then i use a plane and then i just combine these things and i make this thing in one assets okay so i'm not gonna go too much detail on this uh, that key how to make uh, this road or any other stuff uh, in simple word i will just say that uh, i mix like meshes okay i merge mesh, mesh and i create this roads okay so if you want me to uh, tell you how to make this type of stuff road bridges everything then just leave a comment i will definitely make a tutorial or another uh, different tutorial for you because in this tutorial uh, i'm not gonna tell you everything in this i'm just gonna tell you the spline system of the road so you have to just make the road okay so when you make the road like this uh what you have to do you have to go to your mesh and you have to search for your mesh okay so if i write like road so you can see like i have like new road bridges highway road bridges i make the separate assets for this one okay so like that so you have to assign these things 
like suppose i want to add a road okay so i attach this thing so and you can see that it doesn't look perfect okay so what you have to do next uh you have to go to this one center adjustment okay and you can this one is z direction it will go up like this and this one is side one okay so you can change according to your need and you can see that my lands are uh, my roads are not properly aligned so what in order to make this align what you have to do uh, you have to go to this one okay forward axis and you have to try different things okay for me y y axis is uh, perfectly fine but it will be totally depend on your project and on your road mesh how your road mesh was aligned and just try these things okay try with x try with z something will match okay so for me z1 uh, y will match uh, and i will just leave it like this because it looks perfect okay so you see uh, it looks like this something like this and you can see that it was not applied in this one so you have to manually apply these things okay so you have to just add this thing and then you have to drag drop this thing and then you have to search for your mesh new road and you can see this one is having the same problem um i have to manually fix it i will make this thing y and i will just move it like this okay and you will think like uh you have to do this uh manually for everything like every parts of the a spline like maybe your project contains like hundred of splines at a at a single time like this okay so it will be very painful thing to do like manually so what you can do you can just select your one uh one like this one portion of your spline and then you can press ctrl a it will be automatically selected your full spline okay like this okay and for the other one you can do like uh, sh press shift and then select this one also and then control a okay so what will happen like it will select everything and you can just uh, put a single mesh and it will be applied to everything okay so this is the second thing that you have to keep in your mind uh, to make roads uh, in unreal engine 5 and the third thing so the third thing is like suppose you want to make bridges like this okay so what you have to do so in order to make bridges you have to create a separate bridge model like this okay so you can see i make multiple bridges so you can see this one is so you uh, you make this type of bridge uh separately and again if you want to make if you want to know how to make this type of bridge of uh, bridge then definitely do leave a comment i will definitely make a tutorial on that one so for now i will just show you how to do that thing so you have to make this thing like separately and then what you have to do you have to just click on your spline where you want your bridges to spawn you have to just click on that and then simply like that previous process you have to go to your landscape spline and then spline meshes and then index and then you can see i assign this bridge to this portion of the spline okay and that's how you can uh, like you can apply different meshes in different spline okay like different portion of spline spline system okay so like this i make this bridge and this one also i make this like that also so you can see there are three portions of this spline okay one two three okay so i will recommend you to not to like go like that in one spline like uh, like do not like just a uh, stretch one spline okay like if i show you like do not make too much but be limited like you see you can just uh, make this thing so much longer like you can just go like there also okay like see how long this has become okay so don't do that type of things uh, i will recommend you to do like split this thing okay so press uh, hold alt and then split this thing okay so now you can see i have three uh, spline meshes okay three sorry so not spline meshes like three splines okay one two and three and i can individually apply different meshes in this three okay so this is the benefit of having a little bit more meshes uh as compared to the uh, single one like stretched out like that okay so the other thing that you have to keep in your mind that whenever you make this type of bridges or anything anything like road or anything make sure that your edges is like perfectly cut okay like it shouldn't be like one is larger one is shorter and one is like this don't make your model look like this okay because if you try to apply this mesh on your spline system then what will happen it will be continue uh, it will be like not continue like it will be make gaps between them like gaps between your row okay so if i show you 
uh i don't know if there is any kind yeah you can see there is a gap okay you see there like see look you see there is a gap so make sure that you make your material as much as 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 much close or like cut your material like properly proportional i will show you how to do that also so but just make sure in your mind that you do this uh, in this one i am having problem because of my camera culling actually it is not like a gap between but it was like camera cull you can see when i go further away it just filled up like that but when i go closer it was a camera issue it was not like mesh issue you have to make sure that your supply your mesh is like properly cut down okay or it will just create this type of gap issue you can see it is creating this type of gap okay so in order to make that thing perfect uh what you what you can do okay so suppose you make a rough uh, like a rough thing like this okay so what you have to do like um in order to make this mesh properly cut uh you have to it's very simple you have to just uh select your mesh then you have to go to mesh not mesh paint like go to modeling and then in the modeling what you have to do you have to click on uh just give me a second where is that uh no you have to go you have to go to model tab okay you have to go to model tab and then there is an option of plane cut okay when you click on that you will see something will like this what you have to do you have to just go there and make this thing 90 and press enter okay so you can see it's cut my meshes like that okay you can see it was cutting my mesh okay you can just uh select this thing and just rotate this thing like that rotate this thing like that okay and it will be cut down properly okay so now you can see there is a other problem happens like uh if you try to rotate this thing uh it's very difficult for you to like to identify if uh if this mesh is cutting properly 90 degree or not like if i try to move move like this and through your eyes like by seeing this thing you can't just tell like this is perfectly 90 degree okay because in the this tab you can see that this is 80 degree something like that okay but you look at this one and if you make this thing 90 so you can see it was not properly perpendicular to this thing okay sometimes it will be looking like this in 90 degree okay so how to fix this okay so in order to fix this what you have to do you have to just uh, go to your x form select your model and then in the edit pivot point you have to make sure that you make your pivot point like on the top okay so what will happen like your pivot point will become at the top of your model and you can just and then press accept and if you want to change something like in this case you can see my pivot point is a little bit in side direction so you can just move it like this and it will be properly aligned with your road and then you have to press accept okay and when it's done like when you align your when you when you make your transform properly what you have to do uh you you can just now go to the, your model section and you can just do a plane cut okay make this thing 90 and then you can just drag drop this cut from the front side okay like this front one and press accept like this it will be cut your model like that see it cuts my model so now it is not cutting properly because i didn't merge these things okay so my models are separated you can see so in order to make it cut properly what you have to do you have to merge this uh, everything okay so you can see this one is a single object you can see this single bridge and this one is different okay like see this one is different this uh this one is different so now how to merge this thing another question okay so in order to merge uh this different actors what you have to do you have to select everything like if you go there you have to select everything manually shift by holding shift everything like that as you see everything is selected now you have to go to your tools option and then you can see there is a merge actor you have to just click on merge actor okay then it will show you where to save your 3d model i will set something like this in the bridge you can see i saved everything you have to just press save and what will happen like you will get a separate 3d model of your bridge okay bridge or road anything whatever you want to make okay so you will get at this type of look okay like this combined look okay so now this is a single model now you can do your x form transform uh, make sure that your pivot point 
point is at the center because if it is not at the center then your spline will not align properly it will just go like zigzag uh, stuff like that so make sure that when you merge this actors you have to go to your x form may uh, click on this uh, x form and then make sure that it is on the top and then you have to press accept okay after that what you have to do you have to go to your model section then there is a plane cut option you can see it is cutting my plane you, you can see it right now like that and you have to make this y axis 90 degree so it will be cutting from this side so after that what you have to do you have to cut your meshes like this and then you have to press accept okay and then you have to click another time on that one and you have to cut from this side okay this side so you have to cut from the uh, uh point a point like not pointer like from the top and from the bottom okay like not bottom like top and end okay like from this area and this area like this one and this one okay and when everything is done your model will look like this like it has a perfect edge there is no like there is no splits like uh like nothing is like coming out from that area like everything is aligned properly you can see you can uh compare this to okay see this one this one is this rod is coming outside this one is getting also outside like you can see but in this one you can see it's properly aligned and everything is on place and now when you apply this mesh on your spline system it will be perfectly aligned okay and if something is wrong like if you see some kind of uh this gap something like this then just may then there is just a one reason that you're uh you're seeing this type of gaps is like you're having like a little bit angle issue in your mesh like when you when you do the cut then there is a little bit angle offset or something like that so make sure that you do it correctly and and it has to be like perfect yeah i'm telling you this need to be perfect okay if, if it is not perfect then and uh, in this uh, tutorial i didn't go that much deep but still it is like 15 to 20 minutes long so i tell you everything like the problem that i faced during this project while making this blind road bridges everything so i think that's the majority part of this tutorial and if you have any kind of doubt then let me know uh, i will definitely make uh, tutorials for you and that's it for today. Thank you for watching.